Classical Arabic is the form of the Arabic language used in Umayyad and Abbasid literary texts from the 7th century AD to the 9th century AD. The orthography of the Quran was not developed for the standardized form of Classical Arabic. Modern Standard Arabic MSA is its direct descendant used today throughout the Arab world in writing and informal speaking, for example, prepared speeches, some radio broadcasts, and non-entertainment content. It is also used in modernized versions of the Quran and revised editions of poetries and novels from Umayyad and Abbasid times 7th to 9th centuries. While the lexis and stylistics of modern Standard Arabic are different from Classical Arabic, the morphology and syntax have remained basically unchanged though MSA uses a subset of the syntactic structures available in CA. In the Arab world, little distinction is made between CA and MSA, and both are normally called al-fusha al in Arabic, meaning the most eloquent. History In the late 6th century AD, a relatively uniform intertribal poetic koine distinct from the spoken vernaculars developed based on the Bedouin dialects of Najd, probably in connection with the Lakhmid court of al Hira. During the first Islamic century, the majority of Arabic poets and Arabic writing persons spoke a form of Arabic as their mother tongue. Their texts, although mainly preserved in far later manuscripts, contain traces of non standardized classical Arabic elements in morphology and syntax. The standardization of Classical Arabic reached completion around the end of the 8th century. The first comprehensive description of the Arabiya Arabic, Sabawehais al-Khattab, is based first of all upon a corpus of poetic texts, in addition to the Quran and Bedouin informants whom he considered to be reliable speakers of the Arabiya colloquial. Arabic refers to the many regional dialects derived from Arabic spoken daily across the region and learned as a first language, and as second language if people speak other languages native to their particular country. By the 8th century, knowledge of classical Arabic had become an essential prerequisite for rising into the higher classes throughout the Islamic world, as it was the lingua franca across the Middle East, North Africa, Horn of Africa during those times. The analogy is like most literate Romance speakers were also literate in classical Latin. Various Arabic dialects freely borrowed words from Classical Arabic, this situation is similar to Romance languages, wherein scores of words were borrowed directly from Classical Latin. People speak Classical Arabic as a second language if they speak colloquial Arabic dialects as their first language, but as a third language if others speak other languages native to a country as their first language and colloquial Arabic dialects as their second language. But classical Arabic was spoken with different pronunciations influenced by informal dialects. The differentiation of the pronunciation of informal dialects is the influence from native languages previously spoken and some presently spoken in the regions, such as Coptic in Egypt, Berber, Punic or Phoenician in North Africa, Himyaritic, modern South Arabian and Old South Arabian in Yemen, and Aramaic in the Levant. Phonology Topic <laughs> Consonants Like modern standard Arabic classical Arabic had 28 consonant phonemes Notes Carat 1 Sabawi described the consonant t as voiced d but some modern linguists cast doubt upon this testimony Squared Ibn Khaldun described the pronunciation of Q as a voiced velar per gram, and that it might have been the old Arabic pronunciation of the letter. He even describes that Prophet Muhammad may have had the per gram pronunciation. Cubed non emphatic, S, may have actually been shifting forward in the mouth before or simultaneously with the fronting of the palatals. See below. Carat 4 as it derives from Proto Semitic G, may have been a palatalized velar. Carat 5, L, is emphatic, only in, ah h, the name of God, Allah, except after, I, or, I, when it is unemphatic, bismi el lahi, bismillah hai, in the name of God. Carat 6, velarized, is pronounced without velarization before, I. Topic vowels notes, e, might have been an allophone of short, a, in certain Amala contexts in pre-classical Arabic, e, arose out of contraction of certain old Arabic triphthongs. Some Arabs said Bain he built and Zayda it increased. This, e, merged with, a, in later classical Arabic. 
a completely different phenomenon called amala led to the raising of a and a adjacent to a sequence i c or c, where c was a non-emphatic, non-uvular consonant, e.g. all keferina the disbelievers, might have been an allophone of a and a after uvular and emphatic consonants. Topic: <laughs> Grammar. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nouns. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Case. The A1 inscription dated to the 3rd or 4th c. AD in the Greek alphabet in a dialect showing affinities to that of the Sephetic inscriptions shows that short final high vowels had been lost in at least some dialects of Old Arabic at that time, obliterating the distinction between nominative and genitive case in the singular, leaving the accusative the only marked case. Az bn ud bn bn a bn kasma aladami at mn shas at bn a aldwart werb equal bikan az iban iban ban iban kazim al idamai atawa mis sias atawa bana ad dora wa yir a bakla by kanun. Az son of, son of ban son of kazim the idamite came because of scarcity, he came to ban in this region and they pastured on fresh herbage during kanun. Classical Arabic however, shows a far more archaic system, essentially identical with that of Proto-Arabic. State The definite article spread aerially among the central Semitic languages and it would seem that Proto-Arabic lacked any overt marking of definiteness. Besides dialects with no definite article, the Sephetic inscriptions exhibit about four different article forms, ordered by frequency, h, l, and h, n. The Old Arabic of the Nabataean inscriptions exhibits almost exclusively the form l. Unlike the classical Arabic article, the Old Arabic l almost never exhibits the assimilation of the coda to the coronals. The same situation is attested in the Greco Arabica, but in A1 the coda assimilates to the following d, adora asterisk adora aldwart. The region. In classical Arabic, the definite article takes the form al, with the coda of the article exhibiting assimilation to the following dental and denti alveolar consonants. Note the inclusion of palatal which alone among the palatal consonants exhibits assimilation, indicating that assimilation ceased to be productive before that consonant shifted from Old Arabic. Verbs Barth Ginsburg alternation Proto-Central Semitic, Proto-Arabic, various forms of Old Arabic, and some modern Najdi dialects to this day have alternation in the performative vowel of the prefix conjugation, depending on the stem vowel of the verb. Early forms of Classical Arabic allowed this alternation, but later forms of Classical Arabic leveled the a, a allomorph. See also Arabic language Modern Standard Arabic Varieties of Arabic Ancient North Arabian Quranic Arabic Corpus Arabic English Lexicon Notes <laughs>